Good afternoon, it's Jay here. I thought I'd send you a quick video to give you a demonstration on the floor plan software, in particular the venue that you're utilizing at the moment. At the, uh, as you can see on the screen, we have the performance floor, it's open. This is how the software operates and it's a, a rundown on creating a floor plan using layers and to give you a better idea on how and what you can do with the floor plan software. So on the left is all the shapes that relate to your venue. As you can see, I've got tables, chairs, dance floors, trestle tables, cocktail, I've got stage floors, sorry, so that dance pieces. Uh, we've got icons, for example, you know, here's a, a Yamaha Grand Piano. So what I did just then is basically the, in, the, the major elements of the software, it, it's drag and drop. So I've got a, a four piece band and I'm gonna drag it onto the plan here. So whatever in the shapes on the left, and I'll keep working my way down. We've got roulette tables and mics and lecterns and anything that you can imagine, we have it on fire. We even work down to the stage of, you know, we might want to do a cocktail plan and I'm just dragging on some people to represent, you know, people within the space for a cocktail event. You can see on the, on the right hand side of the plan, here's my four piece band. And if we just go up a little, there's my Yamaha Grand Piano. We might have a look at this plan and say, look, I want to draw a stage piece. Now, we've got all the stage pieces on file, but I've got a, a, a bit of equipment item here, which is create your own. So I've just dragged it onto the plan. So if you see down the bottom left, it's got the height and width. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to type 2.4 by 1.2 when I hit enter. So that's exactly the scale of 2.4 by 1.2 meter stage piece. I'm rotating it to the right, as you can see there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these fast uh, or basically quick access tabs. So I've got them up here and I can, you know, for example, as it says there, copy down. So it's going to copy the object down exactly like I've done. I'm going to select all the objects. I'm going to hit copyright once, twice. So there's my stage piece. Now I want to create some steps. I'll click copy up. I'm just going to squeeze the steps down a bit to make them smaller, two more times, and there we go. So there's my stage piece with steps. If we wanted to put the steps on the other side, you do exactly the same. You just hit the copy button, and away we go. I'm now just going to move that stage back into place. The other thing that I'm going to do on this plan just quickly is that I'm going to drag out an icon representing a human, as you can see here. I'm going to put him at the front of the stage. I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag out a lectern. So I'm going to face it to the front and I'm going to move the human back a bit and there we go. Now if I've created that stage piece, the beauty of the software is that I can then drag this back to my shapes, hold down the control key and I can add this stage piece. So I'll just call it my stage. So if you create something and you like what you've done, you simply drag it back to your shapes like I've done just there. At any stage, as you can see there, I can drag out that item that I've created and saved back myself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a quick theater style plan. So in my shapes, you'll see the second item down is banquet chair. So I'm just gonna drag that out. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. I'm gonna face the chair to the front, as you can see there but I'm just going to hit copy down and I'm going to start creating a row of chairs. Simple as that. I might move the chairs up into the middle. I'm going to delete the middle chair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit copyright. So here is my theatre style layout. Simple things. I'm going to now number these. I go up to my options box, or sorry, table numbering. Now it's a theatre style plan so I'm going to click this I'll click which direction my chairs are facing and this time I'm going to include row lettering and I'll just hit OK. So there's my theatre style plan. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out a table. So I've got a 1.8 metre table and I'm just going to copy it to the right. Maybe I might take the front two tables and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to choose, I don't know, let's put seven chairs around it. So there's seven chairs around those front two tables. I might right click again and I'm now going to make it a cabaret style. So there it is there. That's how fast and simple it is you can be creating floor plans. 
I might drag out a 1.5 meter table here and I might just do a offset seating just like this and away we go I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to go back table numbering I'll pick zigzag pattern this time and pick which order I'd like to use right to left, top to bottom, reverse order, whatever suits you one of the major items that we have on the plan is you can see at the back of your room you've got these room partitions so what I can do is in my shapes I'm just going to drag out layers and I'm going to go down to a layer called partition and I'm going to turn those back on you'll notice that the partitions that took up space in the room, the, the room have been removed so let me show you that again so if we go back to partition and there we go it's back into the open position I might take out my layers and I might turn on my load bearing points I might turn on my ceiling heights I will turn back on the partition I'm going to turn on all my truss points uh, while we're there I'm going to turn on the truss beams so all your CAD elements are all here as well because just remember is that this plan when you've finished it you can go file save as and go down to where it says AutoCAD drawing and save it as a CAD drawing again you've got all the specifications that you need for the room the other item that I can do is I can drag on my dimension lines now I can zoom in and I can move these dimension lines I can change them and and you know we might drag out a banquet chair and if I put the banquet chair there I can drag my dimension line and I know that that chair is 2.29 meters out from the room partition so once I've then gone through the plan I could create an entire layout if you like you can allocate guest to seats you can print inventory reports you can uh, you can print seat number reports you could create a full plan or create a, a, a dinner and conference and you could create a report to say how many banquet chairs make up this event you could allocate guest to seats if they send you a spreadsheet with who's coming to the event it will put all the people around the tables it all talks to uh, your word documents or your Excel whatever documentation that you receive from the client on who's coming to the event this entire system is connected to ticketing components so you could create an entire plan and then create a ticketed event for you it's that simple so I hope this gives you a better understanding and I uh, look forward to any questions you have.